Uh, I first started uh, surfing probably when I was about 15. I kind of got started probably late compared to a lot of people because I don't live at the beach. Uh, my grandmother lived at the beach and probably at a young age, you know, we were running like, you know, down there riding blow up rafts, some really terrible foam boards that would rash the heck out of you. Um, but I always looked at the guys that were surfing and thought, man, that's what I want to do. I want to be a surfer. I had started skateboarding at probably like five years old, six years old. Um, did a lot of water skiing early on, probably starting at five or six because I lived uh, in central Florida around lakes. And um, But always really wanted to be a surfer. And so finally, when I was in high school, moved to the beach, uh, lived close to the beach anyway, and um, you know started getting into surfing. And I was just, for whatever reason, I was always very connected to the ocean and very connected to surfing. It was a challenge. And I uh, felt like it was something I could really challenge myself with. It wasn't until probably my senior year of high school when I quit playing football, I quit playing soccer, I quit pretty much doing everything else, swimming, all the other sports that I did that were really, I probably did them for my dad more than myself because uh, he always wanted me to play sports and surfing was something that he didn't do. And uh, I just really had an affinity for the ocean and the challenge. And so from that point forward, you know, identified with the surfing community as a surfer, and it really consumed my life and has been a driving force in a lot of, uh, of where I've gone in my life and what I've done and, and probably made a lot of decisions in my life where I could have made more money if I would have gone somewhere else that wasn't near the beach or wasn't in a place that had waves. Um, but I just made a commitment to be a surfer. And uh, it's been great being part of the surfing community it's always challenging. I even to this day at 45 years old, I'm still trying to push myself to get better, to be a better surfer, just like everything in my life. Uh, certainly, if you're starting surfing late at eight in, in your life, um, you can still get good. Just be wary of having other adults push you in the waves. I mean, that's kind of kooky, but, um, you know, go out there and learn it for yourself. Take a beating like we had to do to learn. Um, you know, but I, I, I love being part of the surfing community. I love giving back to the community with surfing. It's something I'm extremely passionate about and will be a part of my life uh, forever. And I hope to surf until uh, I'm 90 or until I'm dead.